breaking news. In this special edition of the UGN News Reports, we will be talking about our recent uproar and conflict, inclusive of the declaration of war on ASM, and many more topics which have happened since our previous installments. After we located spy cells within our clan, an assassin known as August Divine had assassinated High Chancellor Maybe Michael. At first, we were not willing to proceed action. We even took to laughing at the matter and interpreting it in jest. However, this was soon proven otherwise, when ASM officials took to publicising the photographs of the assassination on social media, including images of the assassination of Maybe Michael, as well as Arc Sigma, a well-respected private within the UGN army. In any normal case, we would have treated this as a trivial matter. However, we had no relation to the ASM clan, nor did we have any intention to. If anything, we had hoped to forge a friendship in the future. On the contrary, all hopes of a friendship were obliterated when we located the spy August Divine. We have yet to understand what their true intentions were. However, this was seen as a direct attack of espionage and terrorism. Therefore, they were greeted with a formal declaration of war from the United Golden Nation. A personal message to the ancient sentient's mantle. We initially were a clan of peace and prosperity. We only aim to be the best of our ability, however, infiltrating our clan, attempting to steal information, assassinating our leaders as well as our friends, and then attempting to humiliate us, is just simply unforgivable. We had no relation to you, and yet you persisted to commit those acts of defiance against us. It is truly a shame a prospering clan like yourself had to resort to that level of disgust. We have made attempts to discuss war terms of ASM directly, however they have yet to make contact with us. However, the High Chancellor sent a message listing the rules that we will be going by, and August Aquila agreed. A picture will be displayed on the screen showing said rules. A direct list will be available in the description. It will also be listed on our website far in this war, we have had one small raid against them, where we were stationed on Eugene Ravenman Fortress, and the ASM menace were only able to send a mighty force of two people, and proceeded to back out from the raid after one small attempt to attack. In other news, the UGN Navy, led by Pro Legend 54, recently took their decline from the UGN clan after some internal complications, thus reforming the National Defense Initiative. We are still very much good friends of those in the NDI, and it was not for any personal slash argument orientated reason. To put it simply, they were not used to the way the United Golden Nation had ran, therefore they felt incompatible with the clan, and as a whole they took their resignation, taking a small amount of individuals from the army with them. With the navy taking their decline, we felt that it was best to refurbish the clan's internal structure, to improve what we saw inadequate, and to fix the problems that were soon becoming apparent, and by doing so, we had a massive rotation of the leaders within the clan. We also decided to do a temporary disband of the National Guard, as well as the UGN Army Rangers. We felt that this would give us the opportunity to ensure that the Army maintains its maximum potential. In addition to that, we also made some massive trainings to our training system, providing a much more military-like training assembly. Plus, we also changed the colours of the UGN Army uniform also. Besides our conflict with the ASM, we have had quite a few trivial raids of other clans around the community. We have had a raid victory against a clan known as ACDC, as well as another raid victory against a clan known as the WOR. We have also had a small raid victory against Exodus whilst fighting alongside the UNSF. None of these conflicts have been notable as of such. Despite our ever so dark shadow of bad news, we can bring you a light of good news. This is the launch of the Valiant Alliance. The Valiant Alliance's main purpose as of right now is to currently gather clans and help them grow to, the, to be their maximum potential as well as to protect each other from wars and potential unnecessary conflict. We as a clan have noticed that there is indeed a great deal of potential in this community, and with that potential, clans have been forming groups of their own, and this is something that we see as a good thing. There will be much more concise detail added into the Alliance as we progress its journey, with the addition of more clans. If you would be interested in joining the Valiant Alliance, don't be hesitant to contact the Chairman of the Alliance, maybe Michael. There has been quite an uproar of news and conflict in the community lately. There has been allegedly an alliance of UNSC clans fighting alongside each other called the Soul Defense Administration, consisting of NAVCOM, DEFCOM, 7th Fleet, SPECWARCOM, EEF, CENTCOM, EarthGov, and the UNSF. This alliance was allegedly formed to combat a military clan alliance consisting of the UUF, ASM, the 99th Regiment, as well as Exodus. There has apparently been a battle between the NAVCOM Defense and, and Exodus on Fort Resurgence, however it resulted in a tie due to lagouts. Two UUF fortresses were also taken over by the SDA slash UNSC Alliance, as well as a small battle between UNSF alongside UGN against a small Exodus force. The biggest community news, however, is the occurrence of a 21-hour-long raid between Exodus and the UNSC Alliance on Berkeley Compound. 
it is currently being noted as one of the longest raids in community history. However, the raid came to a close when a mass lagout occurred, causing the raid to result in a tie, a very devastating result. However, both sides have a respect for holding up for so long. In regards to the UNSC alliance, HICOM has stated that they will not be getting involved in this conflict, nor will be joining any alliance. In other community news, we believe that the Third World Army is still at war with the Imperium, and that the TWA clan attempted to claim a raid victory on an Indiana Jones oddball map. God damn it. In regards to the UUF, we have heard reports that there have been some political tensions in the clan, between the United Union Enterprise and the Century Empire. The Imperium clan are also still at great conflict with the Blood Angels clan. According to our sources, the RSL clan have also apparently declared war on the UNSC community. In regards to the ASM conflict, a few clans claim to be supporting the UGN in our conquest to eliminate the ASM, such as the Board of Directors as well as the Allied Forces Central Command. Many are calling this sudden outburst of conflict the beginning of Clan War 4. Thank you for joining us in our second instalment of the UGN News Report. Our next instalment will be in two weeks from Sunday. Hope you have enjoyed this instalment, and good night.